Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Kaguya Sama Love is War season 3 episode number 5 reaction. All right, the previous episode um we had um, Ishigami. Uh we get got to know who, like I mean, there's like a person who Ishigami likes that is Tsubaki. Tsubaki, I think that was her name. Yeah, uh, the girl in the cheerleading uh, group. Uh so you know to to kind of impress her, uh, Kaguya was able to come up with a few, uh, like, you know, different ways. And one of the best ways was to do better at the school exams. And, uh, you know, like, Ishigami, like, you know, Kaguya, after, uh, like, you know, encouraging Ishigami, uh, Ishigami was able to get the courage to start preparing and, like, you know, do best for the exam. Uh, the target was ranking top 50. I think top 50 or something like that. Yeah, they said top 50 or was it top 150? I, I forgot. Anyways, uh, either way, you know, uh, do a good, like, you know, better, uh, have a better results in the exams. That was the target. And, uh, like, you know, Ishigami gave his best. Unfortunately, he was a little bit le less, like, you know, in, uh, at the end, towards the end. I think it was 150, not 50. I think it was 150. Top 150. That was the goal. So, you know that was uh, unfortunately he wasn't able to do it but you know we he was able to get the courage to try again in the future and we can see how this is going in a positive direction for ishigami and uh, yeah next time i'm pretty sure he'll be able to do it uh that was the first portion the second portion was basically uh chika inviting no not chika but kaguya in a way you know like uh, first chika invited them to uh, their house but then since the dad chika's dad was not there it was shifted to kaguya's house and in kaguya's house chika was the only one who went and uh, <laughs> like you know like like in a new costume in a like a butler outfit uh, and cross-dressing as a male uh, like you know hasaka came in and uh, like you know, a lot of fun interactions happened because by the end of it chika called shirogane and you know there was like that whole misunderstanding of shirogane and hasaka while shirogane like you know knows hasaka as the person like you know as, as the as the blonde girl the you know hasaka that hasaka while uh, chika knows the hasaka as a as this guy the uh, you know the butler that she's seeing in front of him, her so that was like a whole misunderstanding and uh, <laughs> Hasaka told Chika that he likes males so you know that whole misunderstanding happened and Chika got a nosebleed while Kaguya was completely just you know like, like completely out she was sleepy and she <laughs> kind of like you know talked with Shirogan and that was funny that was like a whole that section was really like you know funny and uh, yeah that's how it ended so let's see what this episode brings this is episode number five of kage sama love is war season three i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever user preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go what what's happening oh my god hasaka is here what Oh no! Oh yeah, that happened! Alright! Okay, this is very loud. Oh my god, what the hell? Ah! This is... Ah! <laughs> Great. He was practicing yeah yeah that one nah, he promised hasaka you know like on um. true Exactly. Yep. Ah, well, something happened, you know. Yeah.
Wait, what? Mm. I don't... Okay. Yeah, true. That is something that... Hayasaka needs to know. <laughs> I'm sure it will. <laughs> All right. Wow, okay. Oh no, she's, she's going to, oh no, oh no, uh, yeah, there you go, that's what happened. <laughs> what, oh no, oh no, oh no, should I, okay, it's okay. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, it took his her breath out completely. It was so amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> so what do we do in this situation? <laughs> yeah. Ah, that was a good one. Yeah. Oh, oh, she really doesn't know. Okay. Well, you offended a lot of people here, Chica. <laughs> Crash course? Okay. The teacher needs to learn first, you know? <laughs> Ah, both for Chika and Shirogane. Wow. <laughs> Chika herself is rapping now, okay. Ah! Training montage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, that was, that was good. The narrator. Uh, the last one was not, uh, I feel like, yeah, we need music, you know? <laughs> yep. Oh no. Okay. Oh my god. Oh really? Okay. <laughs> okay.
Okay, wow. <laughs> but that was good. <laughs> Did he just speak? Okay. Wow. Um, this was okay. But now you need to, yeah. You forgot about that, chica. <laughs> That was the whole point of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we did that. Okay. So he has gotten better, I'm guessing. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoa, wait, she told him. Oh, wait, just a sec. No, no. She did not completely tell the truth, but... Okay, it was not a complete truth, you could say, like... But it is the truth at the same time. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, she just heard it. Oh my god, I'm, I'm sure Kaga is going to follow her now. Kaga is going to follow her. <laughs> oh no. Hasaka <laughs> kun. Okay, Chika, you should listen to him first. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Okay, so how is she going to like... She's coming here as Hasaka. Like the male butler Hasaka. Oh, I knew it. Kagura was here. Followed him. Her. There, there's Kaguya. Okay, there you go. Makes sense. That's what he said. <laughs> oh my god. Look at Chika. Ah! She's just going to leave now. Oh! Oh my god, Chica! <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow, okay. All right. <laughs> okay, she is doing well. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow, this is amazing.
Okay, that was amazing. Beautiful. Fantastic. 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, yeah, this is so much better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's still something left? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh. All right, Kage wins. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Haas, ha yeah, Hata is going to rap now, let's see, let's hear her rhymes then. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Wow, okay, another <laughs> Where are these people, these backup dancers coming from? <laughs> oh, look at that <laughs> Wait Okay. Okay. <coughs> Grab. Oh, grabbed the microphone. Oh, whoa! <laughs> All right. Wow, okay, that was good. <laughs> well? <laughs> <coughs> All right, Chika, please don't. All right, wow. <laughs> First, wipe your nose, turn your tears. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, wow, that was good. Okay, Marty, she just wants some. Oh my god, she's back. She's back. Well, what is happening here? What? Sundara <laughs> Senpai.
<laughs> wow, he is so happy. Just ah, wow. Ishikam is doing his studies, you know? What? Ah. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. Elementary school. All right. <laughs> oh my god. Well, yeah, that is kind of um Wow. E okay, it just boiled off. <laughs> hmm. Oh my god. Wait, his all name is also Subasa? Oh, Tsubaki, that was the girl's name. <laughs> Twinters! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Wait, what? Kami? Wait. Okay, great. This is another Kaguya. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, why? Okay, why are you telling... <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Twinters are just... <laughs> mm. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> what the hell? <coughs> what? <laughs> These two. Ah, <coughs> <coughs> uh, wow, it's got me. Yeah, oh yeah, is that so? Yeah, all right. Okay, should I go <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh my god, Kaguya is here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Maki wins, yep. Whoa, what? Oh my god, what is this? Whoa! <laughs> what the hell? What's up with the faces? Oh my god. Oh my god, this episode is amazing. Oh, look at Shrugan and my god. Uh, I wonder if their voice actors rap this. Damn! Wow! Okay, wow, this episode is one of the best episodes. Like everything, like all, like everything included. You know, the opening uh, oh wait we didn't even have an opening i think this episode um the uh, you know the episode in itself the rap inside the episode and uh, the ending like you know everything everything included wow this this is one of the best episodes uh in this season like yeah fantastic wow i was not expecting this suddenly like you know like who would have expected a sudden rap battle like Oh boy, like, uh, oh my god, this reminds me so much of Zombieland Saga, uh, the second episode when everyone got like the shock of their life when they suddenly started rapping. I think it was the second episode, yeah? And, uh, oh my god, I feel like this episode, ah, like, it, it was, it was just so good, like, yeah, like, the whole section of first Shirogane rapping, then, uh, like, you know, Chika joining in, um then both of them like you know like doing their uh kind of uh, like you know wrapping their lines and then uh Kaguya kind of like you know joining in in the end Kaguya provoking uh Hayasaka and Hayasaka then in the end kind of clapping back and uh, you know like showing out her feelings wow okay this episode okay all right like okay this is amazing like nothing else i could say so let's talk about this episode first. First of all, um, I guess we won't have much to talk about because half of the episode was them rapping. Uh, but let's talk about all the other stuff that happened here. Uh, first of all is um, when Shirogane goes to Chika and asks her help, says that, oh, I need a little bit of help from you because I want to rap. And he, he talks about how... Um, uh like oh the how in his house he was rapping and k was like please take my brother away from me or else i'll kill him <laughs> inside a murder <laughs> and chika was like what happened that k had to like you know say something like that and here shirogane tells uh his story of him, him rapping trying to rap and uh <clears throat> now one thing here uh, Chika, we could see Chika is not really familiar with rap, you could say. Um, you know what, like, you know, Chika reminded me of, like, uh, I don't know when, like, I, I don't even remember from when I started, like, you know, listening to rap. Uh, it was probably uh, in my school days, I think. Yeah, it was in my school days. Uh, like, 
good chunk of time ago uh somewhere like five to seven years ago i think uh, in my school days i <clears throat> I started uh, listening to obviously like you know music in itself and then like I you know, also went into rap and uh, it was like you know like it was amazing and I, I just loved music in itself so much now uh, at that moment time I remember like you know like song and music you know like this type of western music at least in my country was something that was kind of popping up people were starting to like them and there were very few people who actually listened to uh, music especially rap so I remember like, you know, <clears throat> introducing rap to other people and they were like, what the hell is this? And they were like, what is this? Just people just talking over music, like just quickly saying some words. Like, is this even music? I remember them saying that and, uh, <clears throat> you know, like them also saying like, oh, like, wh like you know, what type of a music is this? Like, I'm like oh, stuff like this, they used to say. And here Chika, like, you know, actually actually saying, uh, like you know what is rap and she's gonna actually explaining to her that oh this is not some not this is not just some words one after the other it's basically uh what do you call it like and it actually tells a story and at the same time it has good rhymes and that's what basically a rap is you need like, you know you cannot just say something one after the other and not make it rhyme and just call it rap you know like like i guess you can call it rap but it's not good rap so <clears throat> Shogana actually explaining that like what a rap is there should be actual rhymes there should be actual meaning to what they're saying and it should convey something you know that's a that's a rap and actually telling that to Chika and Chika just like you know just uh, listening to that very surprised um, that sh definitely reminded me uh, of myself when I introduced rap to others people who really knew nothing about that and introduced it that's that's genre of music to other people and uh, <laughs> like i remember myself also being kind of skeptical about rap when i started like you know listening to it but then you know like you know i, I started i started understanding what makes rap so good and uh, like there's so many things about rap you know the lyrics the beats the rhymes you know so many things that you know makes a rap good rap and uh, <clears throat> yeah like chica being introduced to rap you could say i guess you know uh was was really interesting because I just reminded got reminded of my time <laughs> when I started rap like listening to rap um so yeah all right anyways uh, enough about that and uh, Shirogana says how like you know he wants to convey some feelings using rap which in itself is something that rap does conveys feelings to others like not only rap any type of music any type of music conveys feelings to others and he wants to do that to like you know make someone else understand something that he wants to tell them and uh, <laughs> chika was like oh really chika was like, like as you know chika is very excited usually in these type of situation like she calls herself love detective so obviously these type of juicy gossip these type of juicy situations she just loves it and she's like oh really then okay i'll i'll i'll, I'll listen to your rap and uh, oh my god shirogane raps in <laughs> does a, such an amazing job that uh oh my god i think there was like a volume warning or something yeah that was hilarious and <laughs> she started frothing from the mouth <laughs> and here um shirogan is like yeah that is the reason why i want you to help me out because my rhyme and my something what did he say my pitch and my uh rhyme or something no what did he say pitch and rhythm sorry rhythm not rhyme uh, my pitch and rhythm doesn't usually mix properly and it's like a mess by the end of it so she's like he's like i want that's why i wanted your help and uh, chica and chica herself doesn't know anything much about rap so she's like um she's like wait i thought she, she's saying something like wait i thought if you like end a sentence by yo that becomes a rap and <laughs> is like nah that's definitely not rap so Sharon Sh tries to go away, but then Chika's like, wait a minute, like, you know, all right, I understand your feelings. I understand how much you want this to convey these feelings to someone else. I will help you out. I will learn rap. I will, like, you know, get to know how rap is done, all the history of rap. I'll, I'll learn everything about it. And then I'll listen to your rap and then I'll help you out. And then get, we get a training montage of them, like, you know, Chika just studying about rap and everything. And... Uh, 
And then Chica drops a few good rhymes, you know, um, and uh, it was good. It was good rap, you know. He the way she kind of uh, did that first section, and uh, <clears throat> Shirgan is like, all right, like you know, it, it's it's good, but there's still something missing. And uh, okay, and then he like you know, talks about how. What does he say here? Oh yeah, he talks about how you should actually throw all your feelings into the raps in itself into the rap lines and all that thing so she he's like you should do that you know and chica's like all right i'm going to do that and he she starts rapping about how useless the president is <laughs> how the only redeeming feature is his like you know is him studying and bringing good marks and how his rap sucks his rhythm sucks and how it's it's just so bad and like you know, that was all her feelings. And Shiragan is like, perfect. This is amazing. And Chika's just like you know, tears are dropping. She's like, ah, finally, I've reached that that part. Like you know, that that <laughs> that level when I can rap properly. And I feel like she, yeah, she forgot about the whole reason why she started rapping. She's like, all right, I'm go, I'm going to go. And Shiragan's like, wait a minute, you just learned rap to teach me rap. And Chika's like, wait, so that means I learned rap and you judged my rap and now I'm going to teach you rap. So that means you judged my rap without having any proper, um, you know, like understanding of what rap is. And <laughs> Shogun's like, yeah, that's what basically happened. <laughs> but Shogun's like, yeah, like, you know, you cannot run away now. Like, you know, we're going to do this and we're going to like, you know, like, uh, what do you call it? Like, and I'm, I'm going to uh, throw my feelings to the person I want uh, it to go to. And uh, so after that, they do a lot. I feel like they kind of practice and everything. And then finally, they're ready. And they are ready to call the person who Shirogane will be rapping to. And uh, obviously, Hasaka or Hayasaka. Um, Hayasaka is at, like, you know, ironing a thing and <laughs> like, a, like a suit or whatever. And here we get a little flashback. This flashback was kind of interesting. Um, she says, like, I want you to know about my job in the flashback. And that's something that she told Shirogana, which I don't think we got, like, you know, we knew about. This is the episode they actually tell that what Hasaka had, what conversation Hasaka had with Shirogana. So what she says is, like, I want you to know about my job. Um, at the behest of the Shinomiya family, I've been keeping tabs on Lady Kaguya and those around us. Keeping tabs on her? Question mark. What a piece of work that family is. That's true. So it would be inconvenient if you were to avoid me. So do you think that you and I could just be normal friends? Okay. So that was basically it. That's what she said. Now here I feel like this was a. Uh, uh, what can I say? She did not tell the complete truth because what she said was the like you not know, the general situation what she said was definitely the truth she said that yeah like you know the, the family the Gabriel's family is like you know has uh, assigned me to her uh, like you know uh, as her butler or maid whatever uh, to um <clears throat> keep tabs on her and all the other people who come into contact with her which is definitely the truth we all know that but at the same time i feel like she did not address that situation why she was here because Kaguya was the one who told her to come and follow president. So she did not say that reason. The current reason she did not say. She said the general reason why she's here. She's keeping tabs. That's her general duty. But at that moment, she was on Kaguya's orders. That's something that she did not say to Shirogane. Which I think is obviously something she could not tell. Because that would completely, like, you know, bring Kaguya's, like, you know, whole plan out. And Shirogane is going to know that Kaguya likes her, him. So obviously she cannot say that. But she basically told the general situation. And Shirogane, like, I, I'm, I'm glad that Shirogane at least knows that ha uh, Hayasaka is someone that works for Kaguya. And, like, kind of like her caretaker. Or, you know, like her friend, her sister, you could also say. They've been from, together from their childhood. And at least she knows that, uh, even though he doesn't know that that day, at least she was here on Kaguya's orders. <laughs> but anyways, uh, that's what happened. And uh, Shirogane knows about the situation, which 
helped out later on i think because when shogane called hasaka to that situation hasaka could say that oh this is another one of my disguises and she was able to say that to shogane because shogane knows the actual situation if he didn't know about the actual situation that would have been a problematic situation because you know like chika knows hasaka as a boy while shogane knows him her as a girl so it would have been confused confusion and uh, since shogane knew that this was her job uh, he was able to understand what's happening and there was no problems but anyways enough about that um he, he calls uh, hasaka or hayasaka <laughs> and kaguya definitely like you know, kind of goes as soon as he sees that it was miyuki calling he just goes and <laughs> shogane calls her out to like you know like to meet with her and kaguya was definitely listening to that and chika here obviously surprised chika's like wait a minute the person you want to say is hasaka And here like a whole misunderstanding happens where Chika's like, wait, you have a guy and girl relationship? And he's like, yeah, like that was like the whole like full confusion because Chika, Chika knows that Hasaka is a boy. So yeah, but anyways, um, and I obviously I knew that Kaguya is going to follow her here. And uh, yeah, like they come here. Shirogane is there already, you know, with the hood and everything. Chika is ready with the cap and uh, Hasaka is here in his disguise, in her disguise. Asaka tells Shirogane that this is also one of the other disguises that she has to do because for some reason Chika should not know that he is a girl. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, Shirogane is like, all right, fine, you know, because he knows that she is Kaguya's butler and she has some circumstances. So now Chika's like, Chika's like, okay, so uh, Shirogane wants to actually reveal his feelings to you. And that's why we practice, that's why we're here. And Kaguya's just listening, you know, just misunderstanding that situation. <laughs> Kaguya's like, what the hell, like, convey your feelings through song? Wait. And then, just a sec. Uh, one thing I need to check. Like, oh yeah, I'm, I was right. Okay, that was Murasaki Shikibu, wasn't it? That picture, or am I wrong? I think so. That's probably Murasaki Shikibu. You know, in the picture that they show, uh, the whole scene where uh, Kaguya's like, convey your feelings through song. <laughs> Murasaki Shikibu being the person who wrote Genji Monogatari, if you guys know, um, or The Tale of Genji. Uh, so, yeah, that's Murasaki Shikibu. So I think that was Murasaki Shikibu at the, in the background. I might be wrong though, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Kaguya's like, that's like a Heian era confession of love. Okay, anyways, like enough about that. And Shirogane's like, alright, start the music. And that was amazing when they kind of zoomed out and seemed as if Chika was like a DJ, like, you know, spinning the whole thing. Uh, and Shirogane gets the mic and MC Miyuki and oh my god that was a fantastic collab collaboration Chika and Shirogane and Hasaka's like wait you can rap properly <laughs> and they kind of like you know talk like you know kind of like, like bring out a few rhymes and uh, okay here Shirogane talks about what Hasaka told him in that moment, you know, in that episode where Hasaka said that uh, I have to act if I want to be loved and you know, like you're gonna talks about that and uh, He talks about how you can become the real You know Hasaka and all that's like, you know, all that stuff he, she, he kind of talks about and uh, <laughs> Hasaka's like wow this is amazing at least like you know like you, you, like you know this is not like the previous day when it was like the sea slugs you know like the way sea slugs <laughs> feel like it was not that feeling this is way better than that the thing that i heard in the kar karaoke and uh, uh what do you call it um hasaka's like wow how much time did it take for him to practice this it's amazing <laughs> <laughs> and Chika's also like, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> While Kaguya is confused, Kaguya's like, what the hell is happening here? Because Kaguya has not heard 
did not hear him rap before and then Shiragana again kind of continues and here Kaguya kind of like you know kind of does a, f a little more of the rap kind of rhymes a few words after that which is kind of like a little continuation which is really good I, I really liked Kaguya's portion Kaguya's uh, like you know verses had a lot of more what can I say rhyme you know like her verses were really good I liked it even though it was kind of little it was it was a really well versed line and it, it had rhymes you know in it and it it, it was good <laughs> and then Chika's like wow that was amazing and Kaguya's like huh and talk, looks at uh, Hasaka and says like huh there's someone who can't even do that and then Shirai just gives the mic to Hasaka and <laughs> Shirai we can kind of there's a little bit more rap after that and then Hasaka starts and then I oh my god that part was fantastic where uh, Kaguya was kind of like you know singing a little bit uh, and talks, she, Kaguya talks about how uh, Hasaka is just a coward doesn't want to get hurt and uh, what else where is it like a little girl and uh, what else okay cause a cry baby a few other things as well and talks about how she never actually expresses her own emotions never tells it and only creates personas this and that you know like there's like a scapegoat which he she uses which is like her mask the, her mask is the scapegoat which she uses to not get hurt herself and that's kind of like you know like that's basically what Hasaka did which is true you know like she she acted because she like you know like made a persona because as she said like you know making a persona actually helps in two ways first of all she can act like someone else and as she said like if you don't act you won't get loved that's one reason another reason if she somehow messes up you know that persona is the one that's going to get hurt you know like her outer mask her inner self would be saved and that's why Kaguya called that outer persona a scapegoat for her which is kind of interesting which is because this this whole thing kind of really makes so much sense and it really hit what do you call it? hit Hasaka and here Hasaka talks about her own grievances her own frustrations and talks about how Kaguya always forces impossible tasks on her and there there was like that whole section of laser beams and everything that was funny and uh, talks about how she always whines and everything and still depends on her and uh, Yeah, and talks about how she uses these personas because she wants to protect Kaguya. And here she talks about how somewhere along the way I became a Hydra with multiple faces just because I wanted to protect you. Very gr grateful to me. And uh, yeah, so basically the gist of this whole section is like um, ha Hasaka or Hayakusaka puts on a fake persona to protect herself and uh, Kaguya's like you know he she says that that's because she wants Kaguya to not get hurt and she wants Kaguya to be what do you call it protected from all of that so she wants to take everything on herself and uh, something like that I guess they were saying and both like you know Kaguya and Hasaka both of them have their own frustrations their own uh, like an you know, opinions and everything and they kind of clash but at the same time they are good friends they are like sisters which we kind of got to see in the previous episode as well the karaoke episode where you know like Hasaka himself, herself said that um like yeah I you know like I'm I want to mess with you whenever I see you feeling happy I want to mess with you that's why she kind of flirted with Shirogane at that moment and that's just because that's like her personality and uh, here again she kind of addresses that situation she says that lady kaguya i'm so jealous of you and i also want to have like you know a, a male friend something like that she says and uh, yeah that's basically it you know like like they have their own grievances asaka doesn't say anything to kaguya kaguya you know has her own problems and you know Hasaka kind of is envious of Kaguya while you know like like I'm pretty sure Hasaka thinks that oh I'm 
helping her out so much and everything all of this is happening because of me but you know like kaguya is you know like it, it is happy even like you know even like you know even though i do so much for her she's becoming happy on her own which probably makes her afraid that kaguya is going to leave her you know like all alone and become happy on her own which probably scares her and that's why she tries to mess with her always kind of riling up shirogane because she knows shirogane is the one person that kaguya really loves and she she tries to mess with kaguya so that kaguya pays more attention to her which is just like a weird situation you know like it's basically you know uh, like little kid a little kid trying to do mischief to make like you know that kid's parents pay attention to him or her that's basically Hayasaka, you know. She's afraid of Kaguya being happy on her own and leaving her and becoming happy on her own. While they have been sisters for up until now together, they kind of shared their anger, their joy and everything. And suddenly seeing her becoming happy on her own and the prospect of her leaving her alone probably scares her. And that's why she tries to mess with her to make Kaguya pay more attention to her. And that's basically it. I, I think that's the basic gist of this whole situation and uh, all that stuff so that was good you know they kind of were able to convey the whole message to rap and i loved that that was fantastic well so many things happened well obviously chica nothing went in her head she just thought like oh they were <laughs> like you know her nose is bleeding and everything and i'm, I'm like god damn chica like, you know, there's a lot of thing happening in the background <laughs> so yeah anyways um that was that and that that was good. That that rap power portion was just godly, fantastic. And the final section where we get to see Maki Shijo again. Maki's just in the student council room crying. <laughs> and here, you know, like we see the the uh, Shirogane and uh, Ishigami coming in. Ishigami giving her herb him herb herb tree tea. And <laughs> and we can see here Ishigami is really studying. You know, he he starts talking about some chemical compositions of those herbs and everything which is going to help her out which shows that she's actually he's actually studying properly and good good show uh, ishigami that's that's good like you know thing like he, he's getting prepared for the next exam i'm guessing but anyways um here we ask her like you know they ask her what's the problem and <laughs> maki talks about how nagisa is in the volunteer club and all the time they always like you know kind of flirt with each other Nagisa's boyfriend and her and behind her back and that annoys her which I guess that is a very difficult situation because Maki technically likes him and this is all happening in front of her behind her yeah like oh boy that would be stressful and here we I think here it's the first time yeah we get to know Nagisa's boyfriend's name it's Tsubasa or was it Tsubasa wasn't it I think that was his name. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, Subasa because Subake is the girl's name. Because this part, I really got confused. I'm like, wait a minute, Subasa? Isn't that the girl's name? And then I realized, no, the girl's name is Subaki, and so the guy's name is Subaka Sa, which is like, you know, which is why I kind of got confused. Anyways, so Maki is just plainly like I'm just completely annoyed for this situation, and she talks about. Uh, whenever she sees them there's like a pain and uh, yeah she doesn't like it like she wants to know what she should do and here Ishigami kind of asks her like what is so good about the guy Tsubasa there you go that's his name and uh, <laughs> she talks about how like you know like like all the good points of him and <laughs> she's like don't badmouth him and uh, Ishigami is like okay here here I think there was like a little Word? What was that? She, he talks about Nirvana. Kamiteru, Vito Vito. Oh, I'm guessing this is like a little um, slang you could say about people who have already experienced it, and he's talking about how they have experienced Nirvana or Kamiteru, Vito Vito. Uh, and he talks about them as people who have experienced nirvana while they are merely mortals because they don't have any experience i think that's what the basic thing was and like I, as i said this is probably like a slang 
of the, this kind of thing. You know, like people who have experience, they're the people who have experienced Nirvana, while people who are, don't have experience, they are the mortals, mere mortals. So basically, that was the situation, which I was also confused. I was like, what is he saying? And then uh, Maki was also confused. Maki was like, what, 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 what are you talking about? Who experienced Nirvana? What is this? And <laughs> there, like Nishigami tells them that the people have experienced the first times. And Maki's like, oh, kissing. And oh my god, like this whole thing like reminded me of that episode from first season, the whole Kaguya episode. <laughs> but here Ishigami goes and tells her. <laughs> and Maki's like, what the hell are you saying? And yeah. And then, uh, you know, like, like, okay, that was happening. And then, um, what else? Here, they start thinking about love and friendship, the problem between them, like, you know, uh, how people, like, you know, can get jealous about that whole thing. And Shirogane thinks about what would happen if Ishikami and Kage. <laughs> and that imagery was, what the hell was that image? <laughs> and then, while that was happening to Shirogane, while Ishigami was thinking about Tsubaki, Tsubame, oh my god, ah, uh, I made a mistake. Tsubasa is the guy's name, Tsubame is the girl's name, the cheerleader girl. Subame, not Subaki. Basa Subame. Okay. Um. Anyways. Uh. So yeah, Shirogane, uh, Ishigami is like what thinking about what would happen if Shirogane got involved with her, and they're just you know kind of making weird faces at each other. And Maki is just getting confused and just yeah. And Maki is like, what should I do? And here Ishigami. And Shirogane just says like, oh, as soon as you fall in love, you should definitely confess. Which, yeah, we can see, like, you know, like, like what better people could actually give you advice about this? Like Shirogane and Ishigami, like, two perfect people advising her to confess as soon as they get to know that they like each other. Wow. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and then... Okay, and then they kind of come to like, you know, they obviously they these three are three of them, both three of them have people they like and they haven't been able to confess. They're keeping it within them. And so they were able to come to a mutual, what do you call it, inter understanding or something. And uh, yeah, they're like, ah, oh, come to the student council whenever you have problems and we're going to help you out. And Mark is like, ah, like you too, you two are my best friends. <laughs> and Kaguya comes in. Kaguya's like, what the hell is, what are you doing here again? And Maki's like, oh, I'm here to, um, like, to meet my friends. And it just wraps her hand around their shoulders. Like, Kaguya just freaks out. <laughs> and yeah, and then they go away. And that was the end. But that was not the end, you know. Then we get an amazing ending scene of Shirogane and Shirogane, uh, Ishigami. Yeah, Shirogane, Ishigami. Um, Maki and uh, what's his, her name? Uh, uh, Chika. There's four of them rapping you know, in a battle, in a freestyle battle, I'm guessing, while Kavya was like, you know, in the audience. And that was fantastic, you know, the, the way they kind of animated that. And all these characters looked like some different characters. You know, their, their nose and their faces were really um, like in a different style. And the way they kind of rapped and everything, that was, that was just so good. The rap in itself was fire. And in the end, we kind of see uh, Kaguya coming in and Shirogane, you know, taking Kaguya up on stage. <laughs> and that's how it ends. That was a great uh, ending. My God, this episode is just 10 out of 10. That was really good. And uh, oh boy, like, yeah, so that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. This was my reaction to Kaguya Sama Love is War season 3, episode number. Five? Yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next week with another episode of Kaguya-sama Love is War. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.